If you guys want to see how I went from this reflection that has orange peel to this reflection that does not have orange peel, please stay tuned to the video. Oh, that's fine. What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel, all you new subscribers, I'm Barboss. Um, it's been about a week since I painted the Civic. Today we are going to attempt to remove a lot of the orange peel that it has on the doors. It is very glossy, it is very shiny. Um, the camera doesn't really pick it up from far away. But it does have a lot of orange peel, it does have a lot of like um, cloudiness to it. It's not a perfect mirror yet. I did went ahead. I did went ahead. Wow. Either way, <laughs> I did sand away over here a small little section right here. And I got a really good finish. So this all has orange peel. But up here, I removed a lot of the orange peel and it's extremely glossy. That is what I'm going to do to the whole side of the car. And to do that, I do have some sandpaper. It's a sanding sponge. This is single stage, so I don't want to go too heavy with anything. So this is what I'm going to be using. Right here, I have some sanding sponge from Walmart, 3000 grit, part number 03064. We are going to be using this in this bowl with water and dishwashing soap and that's how we will be sanding everything we will also be using the mcguire's mirror glaze fine cut cleaner this is the number five up to here you can see the number five the arrow goes right underneath it and we are going to be using this sponge with that compound this is a cutting pad from harbor fright part number 61 530 after we do that, we are going to wipe everything down and then we're going to be hitting everything with the ultimate compound from Meguiar's. And we are going to be using the finishing pad from Harbor Fright 61, part number 61, 529. And this is what it looks like. It's a black pad. And this is what's going to give us our finished mirror image on our panels. So I'm going to go ahead, throw you guys on a time lapse. We're going to do one door and then we will compare from one door to the other door. It is pretty dark in this garage. It is very gloomy outside. I think it's going to rain. Let you guys look out there. It looks like it's going to rain. So I will do my best with lighting and try to put this camera at different angles where it picks up the lighting and the reflection as good as possible. Either way, if you have not hit the like button, please hit the like button because that helps bring a lot of people. And let's go ahead and get started. can see that I knocked down a lot of the orange peel 
very fast compared to this side you barely see it on here like right there you could sort of see it a little bit but this side I knocked it all down and there's still a little bit that you can see but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it and I'm gonna start um, hitting it with the Meguiar's fine cut cleaner show you guys the reflection you guys see me right there what it looks like now look right here what it looks like is it clear can you see my face right there now look at my face over here huge difference completely huge difference So I'm gonna go ahead and continue wet sanding and once I completely finish, I'll go ahead and do a walk around video of what it looks like. And I did both doors on the passenger side, the back quarter panel, and I did the trunk. So now we have a different problem. The problem is that I accidentally burned through the paint with the buffer, which I'm gonna show you guys right now, right here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but hold on I go on an angle there's little marks here 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 there you can see a little smudges and it goes all across the, the door so those little marks are actually that I burned through the paint so I'm thinking when I paint my bumper my hood and the fenders I'm gonna go ahead and tape off this little section, wash it really good, tape it off, scuff it, and lay a little bit of paint. Um, I'm thinking maybe fading it, where I just like barely even lay the paint and just mist it off. That way I could wet sand everything and blend it in really good. But you guys tell me down below if that's a way to fix that. Um, just let me know. So this is how far I've gotten to this uh, trunk right here and I still have to do the side doors on this side. You guys can see how it looks a little bit foggy compared to the other side. So I went ahead and I put a post and I'm going to go ahead and maybe turn this into I believe it's a patina paint job. I'm not sure if I'm saying this right but that's where it looks pretty nice but then it's got some distortion to it it's got either a little bit of rust or it's got uh, panels fading stuff like that kind of like hot rods that's kind of what I could relate to so just take like random panels the fenders maybe a little bit of the hood and maybe even the panel that I ruined and go ahead and scuff it all the way down not scuff it but maybe I could use the the buffer and buff it all the way down to where the black primer is and maybe that'll give it a pretty cool distress look either way um, let me know below on this video also if you guys would be interested in seeing that um, if anything I could always respray the vehicle it's not a big problem I have a lot of paint so that would be kind of cool I haven't really seen the Civic like, like that I've seen the Civics where people add like uh they'll start sanding and they'll get like rust in some areas to turn it more into like a sleeper kind of look or whatever but this paint job looks pretty nice so i think this would would give it a nice little touch to the paint job let me know comment below 
And either way, this is going to be the end of this. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Till then, peace out. Stay safe. Catch you guys later. Like button, like. make sure that like button, like. make sure to leave a comment.